you have some contrarian views here on interest rates, on the economy. Tell us your views on the economy and the potential soft landing. So I think the soft landing concept, which is, of course, the objective of the Fed, and is, of course, the expectation and hope for every investor, is something that we are likely to see in the next month or so, maybe even two months. But it's very transitional. I don't actually believe the soft landing can eliminate the impact of a significant growth slowdown. And I think it is in the process of occurring. So right now we're measuring this and saying employment is still pretty positive. We see consumers continuing to buy. We see jobs being created, although at a much lower rate. But we're also seeing signs of growing credit concerns, of higher credit card risks and reserves, of bank stress, not relative to liquidity, but relative to credit losses. And that's because the Fed is very aggressively raised rates and continuing to raise rates. So I think what will happen is that that financial constraint that's caused by the Fed increasing interest rates and has been lessened significantly by the stock market rising, which is a liquidity provider, not a liquidity you know, remover, that that's going to stop. And the Fed's going to continue to take liquidity out. The Treasury is going to sell lots of securities at the long end of the yield curve and take more liquidity out of the system. And that's going to conspire to create this much faster slowdown in growth. And I think that happens by the end of the year. 